Are you somebody who's dealing with a lot of anger issues? Do you find that it builds up to a point where you just explode on somebody? If you're like most other people who do this, you find that it hurts you more than it ever helps you. Well, if that's the case, stay tuned because I'm gonna give you one of the best tips to manage your anger. What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And real quick, let's take a second to acknowledge the beautiful job my hairstylist lady did on my beard. I think it looks good. Anyways, let's get to the point. So you wouldn't know it. If you've met me in the last, I don't know, two or three years, you would not know that I used to be the angriest person that you would ever meet. And you're like, what, Chris? You're always walking around with that big old grin on your face. And like, it's taken a lot of work. Now, one of my issues was, was that I wouldn't acknowledge the anger until it got to a point where it filled up too much. For me, my experience was, is that I was a people pleaser with a lot of anger issues. So what typically happened was, I was pleasing everybody, pleasing everybody, pleasing everybody, and then it got to the point where I just blew up on somebody, and a lot of the times I felt terrible because I did it. And one of the reasons that happened was because I never acknowledged the anger that was building up in the beginning, so the wrong person would be at the receiving end of my anger. And this is something that I see happen constantly. I see it happen a lot with parents, when parents are lashing out at their kids. Typically, the child is somebody who didn't do anything wrong, but it was all that pent up anger, and this was the person who received their anger. And to be honest, that's not really fair to the kid. In other situations, it might be your partner, your husband, your wife, whoever it is, or maybe a family member, but one of the things that we have to start doing is practicing more mindfulness because it helps us start acknowledging the anger sooner rather than later. So the way I explain this to my clients is, think of your anger like this volume knob, okay? It goes from one to 10. So typically, most of us, we walk around with this pent up anger, not acknowledging it, and it eventually just starts building up and building up and building up to this 10, and we get to this situation where we react rather than respond. So I hope you checked out my last video, which I'll link again up here in the info card, but it's about recognizing your emotions and learning how to master them. And what mindfulness does, continuing this practice, it helps you become more self-aware and noticing when the anger starts. So through a regular practice of mindfulness, and I will link another video up there about my three favorite mindfulness apps that are free, just by regularly practicing, what you'll start to notice is that you'll acknowledge your anger when it's at a volume level of a one or a two, rather than when it gets to a nine or 10. So you can start responding rather than reacting. Now, let's do a real quick practice, real quick. Do me a favor, close your eyes. Check this out. So close your eyes, just get comfortable, and acknowledge what your body feels like right now. I'm going to say a series of words and just notice what your body does when I say these words. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right, go ahead and open up your eyes. Did you notice that? I do this practice with my clients all the time and I get a lot of responses. Uh, people say that they noticed they were clenching or they started to get angry at me or maybe memories from past situations came up when I was saying the word no. And then when I say yes, they talk about feelings of relaxation or soothing. Now, pay attention because I didn't have any reason to tell you no. I was just saying a word. I don't know you, I don't know who's watching this video right now, but notice what your body's doing just based on a simple word. So think about for one second, how many times do you think that happens every single day without you just noticing that is happening? It's pretty crazy, right? By practicing mindfulness, you start noticing that, that little clinch, that little reaction in your body a lot sooner rather than later, all right? So here's my challenge for you. Start practicing mindfulness five minutes a week. I have a ton of apps that I've linked that you can use 
to start doing this. And what you'll see is that you start managing your anger and that way the people who don't deserve it aren't getting yelled, screamed at, lashed out at for no apparent reason. And you start to manage this a lot better. So here's my question of the day for you. Based on the no yes experiment I just did with you, what did you notice the difference between when I said no and said yes? Leave your comments down below because I'm always interested in seeing what different people's reactions were. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click the little round subscribe button right below this box and over to the left of me, make sure you click or tap on some of those thumbnails because I have a ton of videos on this channel to help you with your mental health. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.